Welcome to Race Face TV and this edition of our Race Face Driver Updates. Before we start, just wanted to share with you in case you missed the news that NASCAR has acquired the ARCA Racing Series. In my opinion, this is good for both ARCA and NASCAR, especially when it comes to providing a series for developmental drivers. Now let's get to our Race Face Driver Updates, starting with Race Face Next Drivers. Joe Valento competed in only his second micro sprint car race of his young career on Saturday at Port City Raceway, where he finished fifth in the B Main. That qualified Joe for a 20th starting position in the A Main. Joe worked his way into the top 10, even though he was nursing a damaged race car that included a damaged front wing and a bent front axle, but finished ninth. This kid is learning fast. Port City Raceway is just outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, where some of the top micro sprint car racers make their home. Race Face Next drivers Justice and Colby Sokol were back in action with the Southern Colorado Quarter Midget Association in their season opener in Pueblo, Colorado. The Red Army, as always, ran up front in all four classes that they competed in on Saturday, with Colby winning the light formula and senior Honda while Justice brings home two second place finishes in UR Animal and Heavy World Formula. Great job, Red Army. Junior Motorsports driver Sam Mayer had an off weekend from the Cars Tour, but that did not keep him out of a race car. Sam was at Slinger Super Speedway in his home state of Wisconsin on Sunday for their season opener. Sam was piloting the number 12 Team Oscar Mike Super Late Model but had a tough time in qualifying, so he had to run the semi feature where he finished second. Sam had to start the feature in the back, and yes, he got caught up in a big wreck early, but the team kept him on the track, and Sam salvaged a seventh place finish. Sam will return to the Cars Tour on May 5th at Hickory Motor Speedway in his number nine Menards Junior Motorsports late model. Race face driver Jesse Love was at Madeira Speedway in round three of the 5150 Junior Late Model Series on Saturday night. Jesse qualified P1 in his number 38 5150 Nate Clower Toyota. The race was a 70 lapper with a break at the 40 lap mark that saw Jesse lead every lap. On the restart, Jesse was hit by another competitor going into turn one, then hit by several cars ending his night. Jesse is okay, but the car was completely destroyed. The hammer will be back for round four on May 26. Race face driver Adam Lemke was also at Madeira Speedway Saturday night for round three in the RPM Mortgage Pro Late Model Series. Adam qualified 11th in his number 98 off-axis paint Toyota. Adam was caught up in a first lap pileup that sent him to the pits for repairs. His Nate Clower team did the repairs, but Adam had to restart at the tail end of the field. After that, it was game on for Adam, who may have drove the best race of his young career. Passing on both the outside and the inside, he brought home his first top five finish, crossing the finish line in fourth place. What an impressive run to the front. Now let's go out east to Langley Speedway and the Visit Hampton, Virginia 150 for the NASCAR k and Pro Series East Round 3, where we find both race face drivers Ryan Vargas and Anthony Alfredo. Ryan was in his number two Rev Racing Toyota where he qualified six after an accident in practice. The Rev Racing team went to work and made some changes that gained Ryan a half a second on his best practice time. Ryan commented that at the drop of the green flag, everyone went into save mode, saving their tires and equipment for the end of the race, but he went into learn more mode, still trying to get a handle on both the heavier car and the radial tire. Ryan eventually worked his way to his first top 10 finish, taking the checkers in ninth place. Anthony Alfredo started off his weekend by qualifying third, putting him inside row two and admitted he would rather start in third on the inside instead of second on the outside. 
It didn't take long for the number 40 Seiko Building Systems MDM Motorsports Toyota to take the lead where he remained for most of the first segment. Anthony started the second segment, second on the outside, and quickly took the lead where he remained, saving his tires. But a late race caution shuffled Anthony back to second where he fought hard but could not get past race winner Tyler Dipple and finished second. Both Ryan and Anthony will be at South Boston Speedway on May 12th for the Who's Your Driver Twin 100s. And last but definitely not least is the showstopper Sheldon Creed, who was at Talladega Super Speedway for the ARCA Racing Series General Tire 200. Let's go back to race one at Daytona. Sheldon takes the white flag in the lead all the way to turn three and an incident brings out the yellow flag and forces a one lap shootout. Fast forward to this weekend where Sheldon dominates the race leading a race high 23 laps again taking the white flag in the lead. Could it happen again? Only a few hundred yards from the finish line lightning strikes twice and a wreck behind the leaders brings out the yellow and forces yet another one lap shootout. But wait, there's more. Just like Daytona, it happened again, forcing a second one lap shootout. This time on the restart, Sheldon starts third behind teammate Zane Smith and pushes him into the lead and eventually the win in the closest finish in the history of ARCA Racing Series. It was so close that the car transponders showed 0.00 and they had to go to the start finish camera to determine the winner. Sheldon finished fourth and still maintains his points lead in the ARCA Championship heading into Toledo Speedway on May 20th. ARCA officials and now NASCAR, there needs to be a rule change. Take the white flag and the next flag ends the race. Well, that's it for this week's driver updates. Let's take a quick look at what's up next week for your favorite race face driver. Jesse Love will be in the BCRA Midgets at Madera Speedway. Adam Lemke, the US Western Midgets at Madera Speedway. Sam Mayer, the Cars Tour at Hickory Motor Speedway. Watch for our At The Track post on Facebook on our Race Face Next drivers. Well, that's it for this week. And as always, I encourage you to go out to your local tracks and support local racing in your community. We'll see you back here next week with more Race Face Driver updates.